Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book Wired for Story, the writer's guide to using brain science to hook readers from the very first sentence. We live in a world full of stories. Every morning, we can see all sorts of stories happening all over the world when we read news websites. In cinemas, we watch stories that are mind-blowing or touching in sci-fi films, suspense films, and so on. So why is our life full of stories? From the perspective of brain science, it's because the human brain loves them. Story is the language of experience. From the perspective of reproduction, people need to pass on helpful experiences about survival and reproduction to their offspring. Such experiences are conveyed in a way that is easily remembered by the brain, and stories are created. Take the story of Pinocchio for example. It teaches people to be honest. Imagine if parents simply told their kids, you must be honest and never lie to us. How many kids would actually follow through after hearing that? With the story of Pinocchio however, kids imagine that their noses will grow if they lie. They will spontaneously put themselves in Pinocchio's shoes. What could be more horrible? As a result, they will naturally want to be honest. However, the fact that life is full of stories doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy to write a good story. That said some people are born storytellers. Like the protagonist's father in the film Big Fish. He's just a salesperson, but he turns his ordinary life into fantastic stories. But a larger number of people don't have enough writing skills or technique. They just don't know how to make a story attractive. The author of Wired for Story Lisa Cron is a master of story. She had worked in the publishing industry for 10 years before she ventured into the television industry and became a producer. She also works as a story consultant for Warner Brothers, Village Roadshow, and other motion picture companies. As a senior story expert, Lisa Cron has created scores of great stories over the years. She has expertise in helping writers and producers discover good stories and make them into movies. Besides working as a story coach, she is also a UCLA Extension Writers Program instructor. In this book, she fully reveals her story writing experience and techniques. If you aspire to become someone who writes and tells good stories, this book is a great place to start. We'll unlock Wired for Story in the following three sections. Part 1, What Makes a Good Story? Part 2, Basic Approaches to Writing a Good Story. Part 3, Tips for Hooking Readers. Let's start with the first question, What Makes a Good Story? One particularity of this book is that it explains stories and their connotations from the perspective of brain science so it's necessary for us to explain the cognitive secret of story at the beginning. To put it simply, we think in stories, which allows us to envision the future. Just imagine, millions of years ago, our ancestors faced life-threatening dangers from beasts and natural disasters every day. They had to avoid those dangers. Survival was their only goal. In order to effectively identify information and make the right decisions, our ancestors' brains gradually developed a way to consciously navigate information through story. Storytelling was the solution. People think in story and sift for information related to their survival. Neuroscientists believe that stories allow people to simulate intense experiences without actually having to live through them. Besides, story is also developed into a way to know more about ourselves and others, which helps us better deal with social issues. Think back to your past story reading experiences. You must have reflected on to be or not to be after reading Hamlet. Or did you ever imagine yourself as Oedipus, wondering about what you would do after having unknowingly committed the crimes of killing your father and marrying your mother? These reasons explain why people naturally crave story and have expectations for story. Our expectations are closely associated with whether the story can offer us information that benefits our survival. In order to let the story meet our expectations, our brain subconsciously sets tasks for the story. For instance, we expect to see the protagonist running into increasingly difficult situations and struggling to make his way out of them. Following this concept,